Hello, my name is Eugene Lunning and I'm one of the founders of Sea Heart Press. Like so many of you, our staff has favorite authors. And of course, one of our favorites of all is C.S. Lewis. So we're delighted to offer to you a recording, in fact, one of the last remaining recordings from the BBC recordings that eventually became the text of Mere Christianity. So sit back, relax, and open your heart to the glories of what C.S. Lewis is about to offer to us. Now here I've got a rather difficult thing to say. On the one hand, it isn't true that we shall lose our personal differences by letting Christ take us over. On the other hand, I don't think Christ can take us over as long as we're bothering about what will happen to our personality. Can I take the first point first? If a person didn't know about salt, wouldn't he think that anything with such a strong taste would kill the taste of all the other things in any dish you put it into. We know that as a matter of fact, it brings out their real taste. Well, it's rather like that with Christ. When you've completely given up yourself to his personality, you will then, for the first time in your life, be developing into a real person. He made the whole world. He invented as an author invents characters in a book, all the different men that you and I were intended to be. Our real selves are, so to speak, all waiting for us in him. What I call myself now is hardly a person at all. It's mainly a meeting place for various natural forces, desires and fears, etc some of which come from my ancestors, and some from my education, some perhaps from devils. The self you were really intended to be is something that lives not from nature, but from God. At the beginning of these talks, I said there were personalities in God. Well, I go further now. There are no real personalities anywhere else. I mean, no full, complete personality. It's only when you allow yourself to be drawn into his life that you'll turn into a true person. But on the other hand, it's just no good at all going to Christ for the sake of developing a fuller personality. As long as that's what you're bothering about, you haven't begun. Because the very first step towards getting a real self is to forget about the self. It will come only if you're looking for something else. That holds, you know, even for earthly matter. Even in literature or art, no man who cares about originality will ever be original. It's the man who's only thinking about doing a good job or telling the truth who becomes really original and doesn't notice it. Even in social life, you'll never make a good impression on other people until you stop thinking what sort of impression you make. That principle runs all through life from the top to the bottom. Give up yourself and you'll find your real self. Lose your life and you'll save it. Submit to death, submit with every fiber of your being and you'll find eternal life. Look for Christ, and you'll get him, and with him, everything else thrown in. Look for yourself, and you'll get only hatred, loneliness, despair, and ruin. Thank you for joining us and listening to those magnificent words. And as I myself have listened multiple times to that recording, I'm struck with the way that Lewis speaks about personality. Because in our day, in our modern age, we're so interested, frankly, in our own. But did you catch it? 
early on and then again multiple times throughout that recording, Lewis speaks to the personality of Jesus. That was the great fascination of Lewis's life after he met that man. And our staff at Sea Heart Press hopes that this recording, as well as some of our others, would draw you toward the personality, not our own, but the personality of Jesus. How are you coming to know him? In the Gospels, in your own personal walks with him, what is it like to get to know him better day by day? Because like Lewis says, the more we become enamored with that personality, the more our own sense of ourself strangely dims and we begin to follow. So again, thank you for watching. Thank you for being a part of our community. We would love to hear from you. So place some of your comments below. Tell us what's striking you in this particular listen. Thank you for joining us.